Yeah. Thank you so much for the introduction. And I want to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to get my research here, which is to systematically map DNA damage surprises to phenotypic CRISPR Cas9 screens. Our lab studies genome stability, how the damage happens and is repaired in cells. And particularly, I'm interested in how 40 d replication leads to genome stability, instability and how cells act against it. There are many threats, can there are many factors can pose threats to d replication, including limiting nucleotides, unrepaired gene lesions, ribonucleotide incorporation, the insecurity structures, repetitive DNA, and IV hybrids. All these can cause the DNA replication stress, which is defined as the slowing or stalling of replication for progression and or DNA synthesis. The goal of my project is to better understand how cells respond to endogenous DNA damage and DNA replication stress. And I propose to perform genome-wide CRISPR-Cas9 screens to identify genes whose disruption causes DNA damage in either untreated cells or cells with DNA replication stress. And we think that the study of these genes will help us, will provide, yeah. okay, sorry about that. And we hypothesize that the study of these genes will provide mechanistic type insights into uh, the cellular responses to DNA damage and replication stress. And I established a facts-based CRISPR-Cas9 screening strategy, which monitors the level of gamma strix. Gamma strix is phosphorylation of the serine when 39 residue of the keystone variant H2X, which is a DNA damage, which is widely used as a DNA damage marker. And I have performed four screens, one untreated screen and three screens with different replication inhibitors. And the first, I will talk about the untreated screen. So briefly, I infected cells with antiviral guideline library and cultured cells for several days. And then the cells were fixed and immunostained with a gamma strip antibody and sorted for the high gamma signal. And for both sorted and unsorted cells, I extracted genomic DNA, the PCR of the guideline cassette and sent for next generation sequencing. Magic algorithm was used to identify enriched guidelines in the high gamma cells compared to the unsorted cells. So the idea is that if the disruption of a gene causes gene damage, it, its guidelines will be enriched in the high gamma cells. And here's an overview of the gamma, gamma strix suppressors we identified in the untreated screen. So we map the gene heats to the network using the string analyze. Uh, which resulted in four connected subclusters. As a proof of concept, the major, the major subcluster consists of genes that are involved in the genome maintenance pathways, including the telomere protection, the reputation, the repair, and ATR signaling of the DNA response. And what's exciting is that we also identify a group of genes involving the iron sulfur plus assembly. And to our knowledge, this is the first time that to systematically show that iron sulfur plus assembly is involved, is linked to the genome stability. And in addition, we identified factors involving nucleotide biosynthesis, mitochondrial function, and eye metabolism to be important to suppress endogenous DNA damage. And one advantage we think uh, our phenotypic string screen strategy over the cell finish based screen strategy is that it can better study the roles of essential genes. So to formally explore this idea, uh, we map the Bayes factor or the BF values uh, of the heat from our untreated gamma strip screen. And the distribution, as you can see, is shifted uh, toward the large positive side compared to the medium of all the genes present in the library. So the base factor, the BF values represent likelihood of a gene to be essential, with the positive BF value indicate probable essential genes. 
So, um, so this is consistent with the idea that the, the genes that are required to prevent endogenous DNA damage are also important for the cell survival. And in a previous work by our lab, two graduate students have performed 27 fitness-based screens to identify genes important for cell survival with different genotox agents. And when we met BF values of, these, of the kids from these screens, we found that the distribution is very similar to the one of the library, indicating most of the hits from their screens are not essential. So together, we uh, this suggests that the phenotypic gamma screen strategy can better assess the roles of essential genes in the genome maintenance. And to show the effectiveness of our screen strategy, I validated five gene hits from our untreated screen um, and using two guidelines per gene. And all of them are successfully validated as the suppressors for the endogenous gene damage, and they are involved in different biological pathways. And I also performed three replication inhibitor screens. Um, I'm not going into details of these screens due to the time limit, but I want to highlight that by comparing the result of replication inhibitor screens and untreated screen, we identify genes that prevent replication associated being damage. And the study of these genes help us to better understand how cells respond to DNA replication stress. And as an example, the gene Daryl is specifically suppresses cytorbine induced DNA damage. Cytorbine is a nucleoside analog that inhibits replic DNA replication elongation. And the Daryl knockout cells uh, show increased signal of gamma strips with the cytorbine treatment, as you can see on these flow cytometry plots. And this phenotype is very specific to the replication inhibitor cytorbine as it's not seen with the untreated cells or with other replication inhibitors. And we also found the Daryl knockout cells uh, show major growth defects in the presence of low dose of cytorbine. And Daryl encodes for the human deoxyribose phosphate adelase, which is involved in the nucleotide salvage and pantose phosphate pathway. Given its growth, we speculate that Daryl may be involved in the detoxification of cytorbine in human cells. And we are currently testing this idea. So this is of clinical interest because cytorbine is widely used as the leukemia treatment method. And its sensitizing all the resistant mechanisms have been keenly studied. And the next example of gene is GMBYL. It is an uncharacterized gene in mammalian cells. And when we treated cells with hydroxyurea, which is a, which is a ribonucleotide inhibitor of ribonucleotide receptase that depletes the NTPs, we found that the GMB1 knockout cells show this major increase in the gamma signal compared to the control cells. And this can also be seen with all the replication inhibitors we tested, but not in the untreated cells. So the next question is, how does GMBYL protect cells from the gene replication stress induced in damage? And the long story short, we found that GMBYL promotes the protein stability of PI3K related mechanisms or, or PICs. There are six members in mammalian cells, which are ATM, ATR, and DMPKCS that are involved in the DNA damage response and tor in the cell growth signaling and trap in the transcriptional control, SMG1 in the MR decay pathway. And the protein levels of all these proteins are all greatly reduced in the GMB1 knockout cells in the two cell lines we tested. And we found that the GMB1L protein associates with the cold sharpening complex, which consists of TLO2, TTI1, TTI2, and ATPS, IUVBL1, and 2. And this cold sharpening complex has been previously linked to the pro implicated in the peak protein biosynthesis. So the fact that three of the peak catalyst proteins are involved in the DNA response explains why we identified GMBYL in our screen, 
as the as the factor to prevent replication associated gene damage. So to summarize, we have established a phenotypic crispr cas 9 swing system, which is based on the gametic facts. We performed one swing without any treatment, and which identified genes that suppresses endogenous gene damage. And we show that our phenotypic gamma swing strategy can better assess the roles of essential genes in genome maintenance compared to the cell survival based swings. And we performed gamma swings with different replication inhibitors. By comparing these swing results with the untreated swing, we identified genes that prevent replication associated gene damage. And the studies of this gene help us to better understand the cellular responses to DNA replication stress. And I want to thank my supervisor, Dan, for all his guidance and help in this project and my PhD study. And I want to thank all the collaborators and the funding agency. Thank you for your attention, and I'm happy to take any questions now.